Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of the Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch from Nintendo. This thing is super cool, let's check it out. It's hard to imagine a time when kids were not able to play pretty much whatever video game they wanted to on their mom's iPhone or smartphone or tablet or whatever. In the 1980s, mobile gaming as we know it today didn't even exist. Until the Nintendo Game and Watch series. They may not have been there first with these handheld games, but they did it the best. And one could argue that they still do today. Nintendo handhelds are great. As you can take your 3DS XL and trace its heritage all the way back to 1980s Game and Watch series. Now the Super Mario Brothers that we're watching here is from 1986. Most of you are probably familiar with Mr. Game & Watch, who was a familiar face in a lot of these old-school Nintendo games. He's not in this one. This time we get Mario, who's trying to save the princess by navigating moving platforms and avoiding obstacles. It's not quite the Super Mario Brothers that you know from the NES. In fact, aside from some musical selections and Mario, it shares little in common with the NES version, except it's still really fun, which is amazing considering the limitations of the old-fashioned LCD handheld technology. Nobody could do it like Nintendo. The thing is, these games were really expensive. This is actually the first Nintendo game and watch I've ever reviewed on Classic Game Room because I never had them as a kid. I always look at these and see the rich kid next to me on the bus who had a new one every week. And the thing is, you had to be that rich kid to get more than one of them because every time you wanted a new game, you had to buy a new game system. It's no wonder that Nintendo's Game Boy did so well, with interchangeable cartridges. Rookie move, Mark. I assume you all caught the music there. Sure, these days you can pick up game and watch games on other Nintendo game systems, but there's nothing quite like the original. They still look and feel expensive. They look and feel well made. And as you can see, this thing is still working, so clearly it is. The Nintendo Game & Watch series are the high-end LCD handheld games. And we all know what the low end is. That's right, Tiger Electronics. And you'll be seeing a lot of those on the show soon. Now enough with the history lesson. How's this game? Well, it's not bad. It's quite fun, actually, but not as good as Super Mario Bros. on the NES. It starts off slow. You have eight levels in each of the stages. Or maybe it's eight stages in each level. Anyway, after you get through the first level, they repeat with more obstacles, and then it starts to get challenging. You see, now Mario has to avoid the bullets, and it picks up from there. Depending on what level it is, he can move forward or backward and jump, move up and down. The controls are simple. The game is simple, but simple is the best way to make these kinds of games when they're fun. These LCD games all have a bad rap now because Tiger really abused the system. I blame them for pretty much everything, but they just slapped licenses onto garbage and sold them to kids at drugstores. I mean, you can spot the quality difference a mile away. The Nintendo screens look better, the buttons work better. It feels like a Nintendo product. And that's kind of the problem. If you'd like to buy one of these today, collectors have really driven the price up. This is a fun game, but not for a hundred bucks. The Game & Watch games are really good, they're well made, they still work, but like most of the Nintendo stuff out there, they're also highly sought after by collectors, especially considering there's really not that many of these. Super Mario Bros. on the Game & Watch is good, but Super Mario Bros. on the NES is better, and that's far easier and less expensive to find. Now I've got a huge classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Eric 
from Pasadena, California once again. Thank you, Eric, for sending an enormous box filled with LCD games. I cheered when I saw this Nintendo Game & Watch surrounded by Tiger LCD handhelds. I was like, yay, I finally have one. Then I saw NARC and played that first. Oh, come on. Because I used to have NARC. That, come on, that's a fun game. Super Mario Brothers Game and Watch. It's a great game on the go. Everyone will think you're the coolest guy or gal at the bar when you play Game and Watch instead of games on your phone. The difference is, of course, that when you spill a beer on your phone, it'll cost next to nothing to replace the Game and Watch. Now that's valuable. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. Introducing Michael Fernandez. Oh, yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim. Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal! Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again! Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max! Ohad Kane! Cue the Thunder! Jeff Captain Dauntless! Briar! Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Chip! Sink Bale! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip! Sink Bale! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.